a wasp. He's on the bacon. Uh, I guess he's one of my pollinators. And I don't know if you can see. They're not bees. There's flies. There's a whole bunch of flies, but they're all over the flowers, so. Are the flies the pollinators too? <laughs> um, if we pan over here, that's where all the bees are. Everywhere but the avocado flowers. So. Flies. Lots of flies. There's flies as well on those flowers too. So. But the flies seem to uh, like both. And if we pan this way, the bees love this. I think they like this plant. I want to say borish. They like this better than the other plants. And, uh, Carmen, no flies, no bees, but if you look closely, it has BBs, so I don't know if they got pollinated or babies here yeah. that's the Carmen and the bacon no bees on it though tons of bees everywhere but the trees <laughs> so now I'm here on the lamb I swear something's eating this. Um, again, no bees. Tiny little gnats, but I'm not sure if gnats qualify as pollinators or not. But again, no bees. No bees at all on this tree. Has a lot of flowers. I haven't seen any bee bees at all on this. But, uh, Well, there's a fly. Uh, no bees. Some flies, but no bees. Anyhow, I guess the flies are my pollinators. <laughs> oh, I spoke too soon. There's a bee bee right there. I don't know if the camera will make it out, but there's a small little bee bee there. So. This is a lamb. I'll move on to uh, the gem shortly. So here I am on the on the gem, and guess what? There's the bee on the gem. So I'm not sure if it's just uh... oh, and this one has uh, hoverflies. Small hoverflies all around there and bees. There's one bee, flies, hoverflies. Oh, that's a good thing. So I'm wondering if it's just I have too many flowers out back and it's causing the bees to go to all the other flowers but the avocado trees. Uh, anyhow, well. On this one, there's 
not not very many flowers up here so maybe uh, that's a real possibility but anyhow this one did have bee one bee at least and hoverflies plus flies so anyhow this is the gem and looks like it might get pollinated that'd be good I'll try to move back to the Pinkerton right now so this is my small Pinkerton uh, I want it still has a lot of flowers but most of them have dropped and I don't see any BBs which is kind of good because the tree is just so small I want to say it maybe it's geez maybe three feet if that yeah it might be three feet but uh no flies no bees no hoverflies no nothing but right next to it we have a lime tree and another lime tree and then that's a beat up tree a uh, lemon tree but it's pretty beat up and, um, yeah but there's no bees on the lime tree either so but this Pinkerton, I don't see any BBs. But no pollinators at all. Anyhow, um, just wondering if I should cut back all those nest nastrium that I have on the ground. It, they're full of bees. There's tons of bees there. So. I'm wondering if that they're that's what it is taking away from the trees but either way this one doesn't even have flies on it <laughs> so anyhow those are all the ones that are in bloom right now so hopefully some get pollinated I really don't want this Pinkerton to be pollinated I, well I don't want any fruit set on it just because it's so small but uh Anyhow, that's a, a bee update or pollinator update for now. Have a great day.